I'm out walking around on my property this evening, uh, thinking about all the work I have to do. Uh, something else that I'm thinking about is a series of videos on prepping on a, a small budget. Um, as I've been in chats with people who are with other prepper on other prepper channels. Um, been in their chats and a lot of, a lot of the same comment keeps coming up that I can't afford to prep. Uh, I live on a budget or, or um, I don't have money to prep. And I just thought that even just prepping food, uh, I thought maybe if I made this set of videos, it might help somebody out to see how much you can actually prep on a dollar a day. Just, uh, just do a dollar a day. Um, figure out a way, try to figure out a way to, to come up with an extra dollar every day. Uh, in a lot of locations, uh, collecting cans, collecting soda pop cans can be a good way to uh, make a dollar a day. Uh, I know that like here where I am in Alaska, uh, if you take them all the way to Anchorage, then you can get 25 cents a pound. So, but that's a lot of fuel to drive all the way to Anchorage. So for me, that that wouldn't be prudent. I mean, that wouldn't be a good a good way to go about it. Just because you'd waste all the money and fuel. Uh, in fact, I use my all the cans that I pick up. That's how I pay for my fuel when I do take a trip to Anchorage, which is about once every two years. I, I don't like going to Anchorage. I don't like being around all those people. Way too many people. Uh, so, yep, I. Um, I save those days or those trips um, when I need something very specific that I can't get close by. So, but I mean, there's, there's other ways you can maybe, like me, I could do firewood and uh, sell one cord of wood would be a dollar a day. Uh, uh, two cords of wood for sure. Uh, a cord of wood up here can go, birch firewood can go anywhere for, oh, mosquitoes. Uh, the birch firewood can go anywhere from 300 to almost $400 delivered. And that's split, you know, cut, split, and a full cord of firewood. Um, but, I mean, that's good money. It, you know, that's a dollar a day. Um... So that's, that's just kind of an idea I've, I'm having. Uh, and then kind of uh, try to show you how you can prep. Um, you don't have to buy. You don't have to go out and buy everything. Uh, you can make some stuff, reuse, repurpose. I love repurposing stuff. So, I mean, like, um, I go to grocery stores and ask the bakery department, the deli department, if they have any five gallon buckets they want to get rid of. And that's where I get, I mean, I do purchase some of my five gallon buckets, but I get a lot of my five gallon buckets for, right from the, from the deli and the uh, bakery departments. So in fact, uh, the bucket I'm gonna use for this, I, I'm gonna keep it all in a bucket to start with and we'll see how fast I can overflow this bucket and my preps are just for food. I'm just gonna prep food and water uh, just to give you an idea of what you can do and how you can do it. Because it's to save money on a budget, on a very small budget, uh, and how much it can add up in one year. Pretty substantial. How, how much even $7 a week can add up in one year. Enough of me gabbing, I'm, I'm gonna uh, show you the, my first go round of the, you know, this week, my first little snippet. And it's not a full meal, it's not even full meals. It's not something that would even make a meal to start with, but over time it's gonna add up and I'll show you how it is a meal. Thank you. I hope you like it. 
I hope it uh, is informative and helps people get motivated to maybe at least start a little bit on prepping. The first thing I want to talk about is the bucket that I'm going to use to hold these in. I uh, picked this up from the deli. <clears throat> they use it, they get frosting in these. Um, they make donuts in this, this grocery store. The deli makes the donuts. Um, the fresh donuts for in the morning. So I got this from them. And just a frosting bucket. It's not five gallons, it's like three gallon bucket. And then the items that I picked up were four packs of green beans. I picked up French style and regular cut green beans. Two seventy nine for the four pack. Uh, so that makes them about 70 cents a piece. And the reason I got these is today is I, I haven't seen them for a while. So I just wanted to, to pick them up while they were there and get them into the uh, storage. And then I had enough money left over. Uh, the bumblebee chunk tuna was 89 cents on sale and uh, they they have that sale quite often quite a bit so i wasn't too worried about uh, i'm pretty sure like next week when i go in i could get seven or eight cans of that for my seven dollars and right there is the receipt for what i got what i paid uh, i used a ten dollar bill because I didn't have uh, seven ones, but from here on out, I will have uh, seven dollars even in my hand when I go through the check stand. So yeah, that that leaves me a grand, a grand total of thirty-seven cents to carry over to next week. So that is my first. budgeted uh, prep for food um, just for this $7 a week. I hope you enjoyed and get out there and start prepping if you haven't already started prepping.